Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. Before we move on to the backside of this fin or this back page here, I wanted to show you uh, what I ended up doing for inserts in this page. So this is what we did last time. We did the, or last video, we did the uh, envelope inserts um, for these two pockets here. And I wasn't sure what I was gonna do for this back pocket. So I did a few things, but I'm still kind of on the fence for one of them. So I have a playlist specifically for this album. If you want to start from the beginning, it's a step-by-step. -step. I will link it up here in the cards and down below in the description box. It is the Pretty Mosaic by Prima. It is this paper collection that we're using. So this is the Basically Amazing Size A uh, Pretty Mosaic scrapbook album. So what I did for this little pocket here is I ended up adding two photo mats. So this is a four by six photo mat, a three by four photo mat. These are the add-on photo mats from the uh, basically amazing add-on or basically amazing photo mats. I printed them onto plain copy paper. So the three by fours are on page 13D and the four by six is on page 7BD. Just so you know, this is what those look like. The basically amazing photo mats. This is not part of the scrapbook album uh, printable templates. This is an add-on. Um, this is just happens to be what I made my covers out of, the text. But I mostly use my plain because they're photo mats. So I ended up just sticking them down onto this coffee stained paper. Because I was thinking about that, how much wasted space that is because of the inserts, right? Well, why, why can't we have photos there? We can. So I added those two there and I stamped them with the um, four by six and the three by four. And again, this is just on regular copy paper. So super light, super, doesn't add hardly any weight at all. I did, I did ha didn't make a boo-boo though. I, I noticed I hadn't inked this, this um, tab very well. So I went to ink it and I grabbed the black instead of the brown. And then I tried to wipe it off <laughs> and made a boo-boo, kind of scuffed the paper up a little bit, but that's okay. Cause we're gonna mat those in the end. So it doesn't matter. But I thought that was funny. I was like, oh no, grab the wrong one. Okay, so anyways, so I put two of the photo mats there, attached down to that mat for that page, and then I printed off. This is page 30B. This is the one of the side pocket inserts. This is for the B-size album, but I really like the way, um, I really like the size for this pocket. So I, instead of using the A-size uh, insert side pocket insert I use the B size and then I put a 5 by 7 photo mat on there same thing um, this is just on copy paper so it's really thin and flimsy it's really thin and lightweight and I made it into a tag I punched the two corners and I put the foiled hole reinforcements on the front and back but uh, on one side I printed the shades of color this is number 27 I believe in the shades of color Let me grab that real fast this is available in my Etsy shop. This is what the Etsy listing looks like. So that's on one side, that was the shades of color. And then on the other side, that is part of the pastel green vintage collage. You could use the shades of color on both sides or you could use the vintage collage on both sides. Either way, it doesn't matter. I just really liked, um, I really like the interest that that brings. But this is available in my Etsy shop as well and that's what the listing photo looks like. <laughs> And then I just put a little bit of twine here. And I just really like that you can put, you can actually put another five by seven photo mat here if you like, or you can just leave it there as a pretty. Okay, so this one, this is, this is from the Vintage Envelopes and Inserts set number one. And this one is page, oops, 17D. And then the insert for 17D, or the, um, the insert for the envelope is on 18D. So I actually printed both pages out and I'm trying to decide if I wanna use this type, a regular type envelope, or if I wanna do it this way, right? So I like both ideas. Oh, and this one on the insert there, this is just a journaling card and I put a three by four journaling card on there and these are a couple die cuts that I just added um, onto that and just kind of cut the edge off just a little bit. And then I used a green foiled hole reinforcement 
on both sides, right? So it fits right in here perfectly. I mean, it looks, it's obviously sticking out further, but I can't decide which one I want to use. So I did end up printing both pages out and I went ahead and put the small one together and then here is, what are these from? Oh, when you print the, this envelope, these two inserts are for the medium size envelope. So they're kind of extra. But I thought what I would do is I printed another one, another 17D. So I thought I would show you how I made this one. And then I thought I would show you how I ended up getting the magnet closure on this one. I did it a little bit different um, than I have before. So I think you guys are gonna like this, like the method just a little bit. And so I thought I would show you both and then we can decide later. Okay, so these are available in my Etsy shop. They are linked down below. I mean, I like them both. I really do. I like them both. I mean, heck, I might use both. Well, I'll end up, I'll end up using all of them in this album somehow. So, or at least I think. I'm going to cut this out really quick. And then this, I printed these onto uh, white cardstock. This is, what is this, 80 pound cardstock. I have it listed in my Amazon list that I make specifically for this album. Everything to the best that I can is linked down in that list. Um, if you want to check it out, so I'll have it down in the description box. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do this one first, this envelope first. Um, let me grab, though, I need to get, I'm going to get, where's it at? For the wax seal, I'm going to grab the spoon, and I'm going to start heating that up over my candle there, and I've got my wax stamp, that's the, the rose there, see that? Got that. And then the smaller one, the little envelope here, I did this teeny, teeny little rose stamp. I thought that was super cute. I might end up using it on the medium one too. We'll see. Okay, so this, I'm just, I'm not even going to score it. I'm just going to fold it with my fingers. Burnish. it down really good all right so what you want to do is let's see do I need to ink anything I do I'm just gonna ink the edges that I think you're gonna see and then we can come back and ink the whole thing is I'm going to be using art glitter glue and by the way somebody pointed out that it could be just because it's hot it's getting hot it does get hot up here in my loft so that could be why my glue is runny um, I guess you just really need to pick a top or a bottom because you're gonna to have to glue one of these side side well since this one's this away let's do it the opposite so I'm gonna just pick one of these side flaps and I'm gonna glue it all the way down like this. You could cut it off if you want to. You don't have to glue it down. I just think it looks nice because it, you know, it kind of go all goes together because without it, it would be white or you'd have to ink it or whatever. It doesn't matter. You could, you could cut it off if you want to. All right, so then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this flap here. I'm going to glue it to this piece. 
Be careful not to get glue anywhere but in that piece. And then, um, let's see. Then I'm going to glue this piece down. I might even put a little bit here. the wax beads and I'm going to put them in the uh, spoon over here. Actually, I better bring the spoon to me. I've dumped it in my candle before. So these I have linked in my Amazon as well. These are, you could use the other ones um, that I also, whoa, that I also have linked. These are the champagne gold ones, and these are just the reddish variety pack. So I think I have both of these linked in my Amazon. Okay, so now we've created a pocket, just like that. So it's kind of like a loose floating envelope pocket. So it's just that simple. And then we'll put the wax, I guess you could, if you wanted to, you could have it a side pocket. Doesn't really matter, but we can make another insert for it and make it a side pocket and use, you know, a, a different journaling card. So this one's a portrait journaling card. We could use a landscape journaling card if we wanted to, but I just wanted to show you how to make it first. And then we can figure out what to do with it later. Okay. I think it's finally, I think it finally melted. <laughs> well, I guess it really matters which way the rose is pointed. Take my stamp, push it down. And then, For this other one, I'm not going to start melting it yet because it might take a second. I cut those out while we were waiting. They're the ones that go inside the medium envelope. Right. So we got that style, which is this one. And then I'm going to show you how I did this. Now, you, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the magnet's not there. Now we've used it where we put the magnet there and we put the magnet saver here. We've done that before, but you can really see the magnet there. So instead of doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the magnet on the inside flap and the magnet saver here on this tip. And I'll show you what I mean. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark the top flap, the closing flap onto the back side of this. It's gonna, you're not going to see it, so don't worry about that. I just want to have a place to put my magnet. And I'm going to grab my magnets. And I'm going to use one of those little ones that I bought because I bought them, and why not? But use whatever you have. And I'm just going to stick that down right there where the tip of the flap is going to be. And then, oh, I'm going to use a glue dot, I think. Just because they're out and they're right here and they're the same size as that magnet. The only thing about the glue dot is I have a hard time getting them off my finger. I wrestled with them the other day. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to put it right back there, right at the tip where I marked it, and then I'm going to close that flap on it. So now we've got it attached to the back of here, and I'm going to take a piece of just regular scotch tape. Oops, it's too big of a piece. 
And I'm just going to cover over that magnet so that the any insert will go in there nice and smooth. Okay, and now I'm going to close it up. So I'm going to put glue on these two flaps. And I'm going to hold it for a second. Okay, so then I'm going to pick one of these magnet savers, right? I could probably use a smaller one, but I'm going to use this one, and I'm going to I'm going to mark around the edge of that circle, just like that. You see that? I just traced around there because I'm going to put a little bit of glue, and I'm going to go ahead and start melting my my wax now. Again, you could use a glue dot. Let's just use a glue dot because, again, they're out. I'm going to stick that right there on the, the end of that. And stick this. Whoops. My foot. Maybe I'll do a smaller one. It's a little bit thinner. I just grabbed a different size, that's all. It's a little bit smaller, but again, it doesn't matter. The glue dot is what I, I just wanted to mark it to make sure I didn't go outside that spot. And you don't even have to do that. You can guess. And now I need to wait for the wax again. Except this time, I'm going to have to use it on a mat. While we're waiting on the wax beads to melt, I just wanted to apologize um, to you guys. I have... I have had a terrible migraine for a couple days now and I'm not sleeping well and I'm still trying to push through and I still have a headache right now so um, I just want to apologize because I feel like I'm really discombobulated and I am sorry for that but I've only I've got a very limited recording time uh, lately so I'm trying to take advantage of that time um, and hopefully this migraine will go away I've tried anything and everything um, Nothing, nothing seems to be working at the moment. I mean, it's, it's eased up or I wouldn't be able to be standing here <laughs> recording. But when I was planning yesterday, I got really nauseated and not feeling well. So I had to lay down and then I tried to, I tried to sleep last night. I mean, it was just horrible, horrible. So again, I apologize. I'm very discombobulated at the moment. <laughs> but I'm trying to get myself together. Because I really am enjoying this album. I'm enjoying all the little di different little bits and pieces. And I've already planned, you know, oh, I've got the back of this fan still we've got to do in this video. And it's so good. I love it so much. And the wax beads are taking so long to melt. I could just turn my fan off for a minute, but then I'd get hot. And that, I don't want to get hot. <laughs> ah, there we go. So you just want to make sure that you cover. Whoa, look at that. that. See, that was probably too much. I was trying to stop it from pouring out, but that's okay. And then I've got a stringer because of the fan. Uh -huh. And I probably should have used the big one. But again, that's okay. That is so cute. That's probably going to take a minute to dry, but I bet I could peel it up off of here. Yeah. Oh, and it didn't cover the back side like it normally does. The back side of the... Oh, you know what I didn't do, you guys? Let's see. Let's see if I can take this off. Okay. You know what I didn't do? Here's what I didn't do. This is what happens when, it, when you have a headache. <laughs> I'm going to trim... This is what this is exactly why I was showing you this and I completely forgot it. I'm just taking my Tim Holtz scissors. These magnet savers are super thin and you can just cut them with your scissors. You got to be careful with those little bits. So I'm going to remelt my little wax seal that I just did and we'll do it again. I knew I was forgetting to show you guys something. So. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. 
So y'all did it right on this one because you can't see the magnet saver. Oh, by the way, the magnet savers. I have all of that linked down below. Um, and I have a video. Is my video? Is my video? Is my camera focusing? I have a video all on the magnets. I will link that up here in the cards and down below in the description box. But you see, I, cut, I trimmed them off of this, these two already. <laughs> uh, okay. So that's the nice thing about wax is it, it, you can melt it. It's meltable. <laughs> meltable? Is that a word? Because how you say it? Meltable? Okay. I think it's melted enough. So I'm going to make sure I cover the magnet saver. There we go. So I just remelted the wax seal that I just did. So there you go. Problem or crisis averted. <laughs> Perfect. Put this up from the mat. And now on the back side, there's no magnet saver in sight. No magnet saver. Okay, so close this just like that. Easy peasy. I'm gonna put the inserts back in here so they don't get lost. Um, I don't have now. I've got look. I've got all these extra inserts because I printed an extra big envelope off. So I'm just gonna put these with my die cut ephemera pieces so that they could be used somewhere. So that's how I did that one, and that's how I did this one. So I just wanted to share that with you guys really quick. So these are gonna be used somewhere, and I just need to decide which one I'm gonna use in this pocket. And I think I like this one the best. So we'll just have to find another spot for this one. Oh, and I guess I should go ahead really quick before I forget. I'm going to ink these edges. And then, yeah, we can just use a journaling card and make another one of these, and we can put it somewhere else. So I'm going to put the rest of these. I'm going to put these in my Crafty Companion for future use somewhere. We're going to have to go back and add inserts and embellishments and things. So these will come in handy for that. So I'm gonna stick these over here. And that's the only inserts that I did. So I just wanted to share that with you. And now, I just love this, you guys. I just love the way this turned out. Now let's turn to the back side. I also, down below, I will, I will put the main base pages that I'm using in this video. So, so far the only one we've used is the 30B which is in the set of templates. These are, I have them linked down below. So 30B oops, is this one right here. So this is one of the side pocket inserts for the B size album. This is my workbook. This, you do not get a physical item when you purchase from an Etsy shop. You have to make your workbook yourself, but there's three sets of templates in there. There's the background design of your choice. There is a full set of plain templates, which is a free bonus for me. And there is a full guide with the written info on it. Um, and that's what you use to make your workbook with. Okay. And that's also a free bonus with purchase from me. Okay. So on the back side here. Okay. Let me see. What do I got here? Okay. For the back side here, all we're going to be doing is we're going to be using, these are the two leftover pieces from page 10D. We used them, um, in the last setup. I'll show you. It's the back side here. It's the other piece to this page. So 10D, um, I shall show you. So we used this part. So now we're going to be using this part. So with one of them, I left all three tabs on, I scored them and put tape on all three tabs and uh, notched the corners. And then on the other one, I took the two short tabs off and scored 
and then put tape on one side. So I score the tab and then I put tape on. So the tape for the one with just the one tab is on the plain side. And the tape that had the one that has all three tabs, the tape is on the small stripe side. Okay. So that's all we're going to be using for right now. So these are just leftover bits from the previous page. And we're going to make a flip pocket. And it looks like I may need to add magnets first. I'll try to keep myself some notes. So this is going to go on like this. So I'm going to add some magnets to this page here. And since it's on the back side, I'm going to use two magnets. I might use two magnets here and then two magnets here or two magnet savers. I haven't decided yet. Alright, so for sure, for sure, I'm going to need two magnets. I don't think it's going to see hit any other magnet. Someone asked if you don't have magnets, what other options are there? You can use Velcro. You can uh, use like a swivel technique. You can tie it. Like you could put some string before we mat it. You can put some string here and some string here. Um, and then you could tie it to keep this from flopping around. There's a lot of different ways you can do it. I'm just really enjoying using magnets. They're hidden and they, they do the job well and we found a lot of great resources. But there's other ways you can do it. Um, many, 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 many other ways that you can keep this pocket from flopping around. So, I'm trying to keep these. Okay, I'm going to put tape runner tape because I kind of marked where I want the magnets to be. One up here, one down here. Okay, and I'm just going to put them down. One here, one there. I'm going to cover it with some tape so that any inserts won't get stuck on that magnet. And then I think we're going to put this down. So remove the tape and we're just going to put it right above the score mark on this back side of this page here. Just like that. And then let's go ahead and add the pocket onto there and then we'll put the magnet savers. Alright, so here's the small flippy flappity. Okay, so let's do the magnet savers. I think I'm going to use bigger ones. On here. Whoops, just gonna use a little bit of tape runner tape. I'm gonna try to make sure they're centered onto the actual magnet there. Use tape runner and tape, and then I'm gonna flip it over, burnish it down, and it should. Ah! 
hasn't yet. <laughs> there we go. Let me burnish it just a little bit. So the next thing I've done is I have used this sheet here. This is the mat for page 7A, and we are going to mat this page like this. And I did the foiling. I took the glue stick, and I did my foiling all the way around. And you guys, I'm going to have to get a new foil sheet. I'll show you in a minute. Um, and here's my leftover pieces from that. So I traced this one out. I did not run this one through the printer. I traced it out. I think what we'll do is we'll just attach it down. I'm just using tape runner tape. And I'm going to do a few in the middle here. Does it have an up and a down? I just love this paper. This is my favorite, my favorite one. Look how pretty that looks. Isn't that neat? I just love that foiling. Okay. And so now I've already made a bunch of inserts for inside of here. Okay, so I used a few three by fours that I actually already had printed out that had the, these are the um, pastel green vintage collage papers. I had printed one out and then I had the three by four printed on the other side. And so then I foiled all the edges of that. So I've got two of those. Then I have two four by sixes. These are from the add-on photo mats. And then I matted them with the journaling cards. Oh, that looks the same as the one on the other side. Well, sort of, not really. So these were the last two uh, portrait journaling cards that I had. So I went ahead and used those and I foiled around the edges of that. And then I have one five by seven add-on photo mat and this is page one AC. And then I took, I had this scrap from another page. I traced around, or I'm mean, sorry, I cut a five by seven out of that where I wanted it. And so I matted it with that. This would be great for like journaling or even adding a photo up here. So what I thought we would do is just that simple. We would have the five by seven. We would have a four by six and then a three by four. And then on the back side, we'd have another four by six and another three by four. And that would be it for the inserts. Now I haven't decided if I was going to embellish this piece yet or not. Um, I think I'm going to wait on that until the end, but I kind of feel like too, I feel like I need to put some magnet savers on the inside here to keep this flappy part um, more secure. So I think I'll do that. Okay, so I'm going to put, I'm going to take these out and I'm going to add some magnet savers. So there's the magnet. I'm going to add on the other side of this flap so that it stays down flat. I just think it'll look better, but I'm just going to take tape runner tape on the two magnet savers here and I'm going to take something flat and I'm just going to stick it in here on top whoop, on top of that magnet. I probably didn't even need something flat. Like that. And I'm going to press it down. So they should be, yep, yep. And I'm going to put a little bit of tape. On the top of them so that inserts don't get stuck on them. Okay, so I'm going to add my inserts back in here and see if that helped. I mean, I'm sure it did. Yeah, it helped keep that flat or flatter, just like that. Yeah, so I love doing that. Then you can also, if you wanted to, you could put loose photo mats here. If you wanted to, you could put a photo mat or two photo mats. You could put two four by six photos 
on this page if you wanted to, or you can just leave it uh, blank for now, and it's super pretty, and I love it, so I'm gonna leave it blank for now. All right, I've prepared one more thing for uh, the middle of the fin here before we do the next part, the next backside um, of the fin. So I've got one more thing, and I've already prepped it because we made them already before. So it's the same thing as this page here, right? So this is in the middle, and it's the same. There's a slot on both sides. I just haven't put any uh, inserts in there yet, right? So I'm gonna put the same thing in the middle between the front of the fin and the back of the fin. And all it is, is this is page 8B. I printed two of 8B on the small stripes, right? I printed it in the small stripes. If you only have the light wood, then print them in the light wood. And then on the other side, I printed the mat in the light wood and I made the slot just like I did in the previous video um, for that. I will find it and link it up here and down below if you wanna check it out. But it's in the playlist for this uh, album as well. And I haven't made any inserts for it yet, but I like the idea of having more space to add extra inserts and stuff. And then I like there being like a middle, if that makes any sense. So I, I attached these two together by the one fin. Now I'm gonna put tape on the side here. This is 3 8 inch score tape. And I'm going to burnish it down and add it into the book. So at the end, when we're done, we can go through and, and just make all kinds of inserts for all these different little spots. So whatever papers and scraps and stuff we have left over, we can just go through and add all of that in. Oh, I did want to make sure that I inked those two edges there. And so on the other side of this fin, I'm just gonna line this up. And attach it down. Just like that. And I'm gonna open it up to the beginning of the fin and I'm gonna burnish it down this way. Now again, this is my eighth album that I've made using this method of binding into the book and everything is perfectly fine. I have not had one single issue at all. Um, with the weight, with anything tearing or anything like that. I haven't had one single issue, so I just kind of wanted to let you know that. All right, so there we go. We have this, the middle of this fin, and then we'll, in the next video, we'll start on the backside of the fin, and I think you guys are gonna love that as well. Okay, guys, that's all we're gonna do for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I am sorry for my discombobulation, my, my migraine. Um, it's feeling a little bit better, but I'm still not, I'm still not. Oh, I was going to show you my foil. Aha, I almost forgot. There's my foil. This is what the state of my foil looks like now. After foiling all of these inserts and uh, foiling this page and all everything else that I foiled, I'm going to have to get me a new sheet. What do you guys think? I'm going to keep this, of course, because um, I'm pretty sure we could still use it. But I'm going to grab a new sheet um, in the next video. Well, I'm going to cut a new sheet off in the next video. I'm just going to let you know that. But okay, you guys. Um, do let me know what you think. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel already. And hit that bell and turn those notifications on. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.